<clears throat> okay, so what we did was uh, we sprayed some of this um, uh, starting fluid in there and to uh, break up the rubber. And um, as you can see on this pulley, there's some rubber down in the actual groove. And um, we already sanded the uh, V part down, so we're just trying to get the leftover remnants of the old belt in the groove out of there. As you can see, it comes right off once you soften up that rubber. Like that. We're just using a uh, old, old, old steak knife. And we're not uh, gouging anything, we're just scraping it off. Um, as you can see, looks like it's pretty much done there. So you want these pulleys nice and clean, and you also want them, um, you want them dry. You want them clean, and you don't want any oil or debris on them. Or else you cause slippage, and then a slippage in turn will uh, burn the belt and will cause a lot of heat and destroy the belts right away. And the last thing you want is any slippage in um, on your pulley, on your belts. It'll drop the pressure on your machine real quick. So you might not even notice that you have slippage in your uh, um, of the belts, but I can guarantee you if you think your pressure is down a little bit and um, doesn't seem like the machine light doesn't seem like it's working like it used to, then most likely you have um, slipping of the belts. And as you can see, I've actually gone ahead and cleaned all that out. All that super super shine is gone, and that's what you want. You want it real clean. I'm going to go over this one more time just to get all the excess off. Take your time. Okay. And that's it. That's how you start the process of cleaning this pulley off. Especially since it's in a really hard to get to area on this machine. You gotta be a contortionist to get to it. Alright, we're gonna uh, spray this down one more time and it'll be ready to uh, put the belts on.